my name is Delma Denmar and you're watching my search for me. In the last couple of weeks I shared parts of the interview that I did with Mandeep last summer. It was a very inspiring but also deep interview. We talked about different things like the organization she works for, Creative Visions Global. We talked about her career, we talked about motherhood, how that affects you. So I really invite you, if you haven't seen it yet, to go back to those two parts. And in this final part of the interview, we're going to be talking about things like who are, have been her role models in life, um, what's the biggest lesson that she's learned in life to date when it comes to doing business, but also she will be sharing her advice when it comes to finding yourself. And she uh, has some uh, interesting things to say about that. So I invite you to uh, watch the interview till the end. I also invite you to leave your comments here below the video, to go to the Facebook fan page, My Search For Me, and like it. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this final part. Um, who's been your uh, role model in your life? Do you have one? Or perhaps several? I think several. Several, several. So my mother is a definite role model. Um, I just seen her work so hard, but yes, yeah, always be there. You know, family is a real key for her, um, okay. and I just I've just seen the sacrifices actually not just of my mother, but of all my four fathers, and um, I'm creating a family tree right now, and it's oh, hopefully nice. going to go back. You know, hopefully three to five hundred years because that's like wow. where we can see the lineage uh, that's how much we can see so far um, but I'm grateful to all of my ancestors they're all role models because I wouldn't be here today mm -hmm. um, and that they've paved the way and they've really sacrificed so much so that we're standing on their shoulders each and every time mm -hmm. um, and e over each and every generation um, and then beyond that, I would say a role model is, for me, not someone who is in the media eye and I can, you know, make a sense of their lives and think, wow, isn't that great? Role models to me are mentors who have shared with me such that I'm able to then um, share with me and champion to me. And there are many, many people like that. Okay. Um, really from school onwards yeah. so I conducted recently the 20 years school reunion of my high school oh, wow. and there are there are teachers there who were role models my first boss at a flying school I used to work at who helped me get a private pilot's license was a role model wow. and he helped me get onto the property ladder and then my next boss was you know they've all contributed even my boss at JP Morgan who's I'm in touch with still today and go to spend a week with in France next week. I mean, had it not been for her, one, I wouldn't have been hired, two, I wouldn't even be doing that sabbatical. And she wouldn't have, you know, it's someone who's not interested in you doesn't say go and follow your dreams or, yeah. yes, you know, you've got the freedom to do this, that and the other. They don't empower you. I mean, she really empowered me. Yeah. And I've really been lucky. I mean, Cathy's been a huge empowering yeah, force. Yeah. There are just so many people in my family and outside of my family that have been really fortunate. Yeah, very nice. That's all, I think it's also good to, to sometimes stop and think about all those people yeah. who in their way contributed a little bit to yeah. better you and better Or a life. lot, a lot, they've contributed a lot. a lot. Yeah. Has your mother also been a career woman? She um, got married to my father when she was 17 um, oh. and wanted to be a doctor and had studied to be a doctor and then came um, she was born and brought up in India and she came, my father was raised here and when she came she basically wasn't um, happy just to do, you know, just to go to work and with her lot she, she invested in businesses etc yeah. etc. Et so she really and created a lifestyle where she could work and um, be at home when we needed. So yes, she has been a career woman. Um, and even today continues to work, whereas my father has retired. <laughs> so, she can't stop. <laughs> I don't think it's that she can't stop. I think she knows that 
is not yet time to stop. Okay. And also, we're, we're all living longer, I think. That's true, that's yeah. true. And I think it gives, in general, people a lot of energy because you can see a lot of times when they stop, they slowly stop living as well. Yeah, yeah disintegrate. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Yeah, so, nice. Um, what is the biggest thing you've learned in life to date? That's such a difficult question. I can imagine. <laughs> the biggest thing, the biggest thing. Again, it can be related to career, like... Are you, would you like it to be related to career? Yeah, because we've yeah. been talking mainly about... Okay. okay, the biggest thing in career, I bet. Um, so I'm an extremely impatient person, and... The biggest thing I've learned is that, um, one, everything comes around, or what goes around comes around. So, for example, yeah. relationships, um, all relationships, to maintain all of them, because you've met someone for a reason, mm -hmm. and um, somehow, in some way, you'll interact with them again. <laughs> so, just to be super, um, just see the best in everyone. Mm -hmm. um, and then I mentioned my impatience because I've really, sometimes I thought it served me, but so in some ways life is really long and there's actually no need to be overly impatient such that you shortchange yourself or such that you're so fast and then you don't build your foundation. So mm -hmm. to really um, give yourself the chance, to, to set yourself up for a success and to give yourself the chance to really prepare um, and put the effort in because it will reap the rewards at some point. Yeah. And, and don't you think that your children also have also shown you that being patient is, is a quality you need as a mother? Yes, but with my children it, maybe it comes more naturally. Okay. Um, whereas in the workplace you don't you know, you don't have that same... Yeah. Um, oh, oh, that has, I guess, yes. Over the last five years, I've become a different person because of them. Yes. Yes. No, yeah, I can imagine true. that that's true. would affect you as well. Because yeah. I noticed that when I had my daughter, that yeah. uh, children are really like a mirror and they really show you also your weak spots. Yes. And I can be impatient as well at times, but I can uh, see that in my daughter that, you know, some things I have to let go or... Yeah. Just, yeah, it's just the way it is. So, except and then you use that into your career too and allow it to inform the career. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, and then I had a couple of open questions. So, basically, mm -hmm. the first thing that comes to mind mm -hmm. my life purpose is to serve. And life is all about having fun. <laughs> is that contradictory? I hope not. You can have fun while you're serving. Of course, especially yeah. if yeah, it's something that gives you a lot of energy and you know, yeah. gets you excited. Like, it sounds like what you're doing. Well, to, and to concentrate on your strengths. To yeah. concentrate on your strengths, that's also what life is about. Yeah, right. yeah. Like we're all unique. We all have our individual talents and our strengths. Don't spend your life trying to improve the bits that you don't like. It's just an ongoing okay. uphill battle. Yeah. Focus on your strengths and get encouragement and nourishment and uh, energy from your strengths and, you know, the rest will look after itself. Yeah. Um, happiness is? Love. Love. Um, the biggest misunderstanding is? That comes from not listening. The biggest misunderstanding is that we're all the same, that we're all super connected, we're really the same person, the same being, the same energy. Yeah. yeah, probably we all think that we are very different from our neighbours, but in the end we all have basically more or less the same needs in different yeah. ways. But yeah, 100%. I mean, we're all... Um, we are creating what is in front of us. So we really are the master of our own universe. If we don't like something, it's because of us. Mm. If something's not going well, it's because of us. Yeah. If something needs changing, change it. Like, it's really all in us. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Um, well, like you know, the videos is about um, trying to inspire and advise and share tips with others who are also looking for, um, yeah, who are on their way with their own search for themselves. 
what would you advise to others who are still searching for, you know, what, what is it that they have to bring to the world or can share with more people? I think that the search never stops, that you never get to a point, maybe you do, I haven't got to a point where you think, oh, that's it, I have nothing more to do, or, you know. Yeah. Um, so that it's natural and normal to be in that searching and certain who am I, what am I here for, what am I meant to be doing, um, to have those questions, it's a very, it's a very good thing. Mm -hmm. um, and to allow yourself the patience to just sit with those questions and for things to unfold um, rather than thinking you have to have the answers. Mm. Life is the answer. It will unfold. Yeah. Just let it happen. Yeah. And I think to really be okay with the uncertainty. The more false structures we create for security and certainty, the more we're limiting ourselves. Yeah. Very true. Well, I really enjoyed this conversation. It was really, really nice. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I can imagine uh, people are curious about your work or about creative visions. Where can they go to find a little bit more information or perhaps connect with you directly? Um, so for Creative Visions, uh, to go to creativevisions.org. Okay. Um, to connect with me directly. Uh, what would you like? Twitter, Facebook? Email. What's the easiest way? What do you check the most? Or if they have like a question or if perhaps they want to get involved with creative visions? Is it easier to shoot you an email or... Yes. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, shoot me an email on mandeep.ry at creativevisions.org. Okay. Um, or you can find me and message me on Facebook or Twitter or... Um, yeah. yeah. Different ways. Yeah. <laughs> All those different ways. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much for being here today. Okay. <laughs> so this was the interview that I did with Mandeep last summer in London. I thought it was a really nice, warm, deep interview and it was great sitting there with her. And I, I really learned a lot uh, from just talking to her. So I hope yourself too. So please do leave your comments, your insights below this video or share it on the Facebook fan page, My Search For Me. And um, well, um, Mandeep shared her advice when it comes to finding yourself. She, sa she said uh, basically that you shouldn't force it, that you know, we all have big questions about life, about what we're supposed to do here. But sometimes it's also good to just be patient with life and let life unfold. And you will see that you will be guided in the right direction and the right path will open up for you. So it also has to do with trusting that it all will work out in the end. So yeah, I really thought that's something to think about and perhaps in your life also pause at times. And she also said something about focusing on your strengths because we all uh, tend to focus mainly on the things that we can do or that we're not very talented in. But we are also all quite unique and there are things that um, you know, you can do better than anyone else. So try to focus as much as you can on that part and people will really appreciate that. Great! So uh, next week I will be sharing the interview with you that I did with Arvind, a good friend of mine, also the writer of the book uh, Get the Life You Love and Live It. Um, he's also a coach, so we will be talking about his book, we will be talking about himself as a coach, but also how he uh, yeah, became a coach. And uh, it's going to be another very inspiring interview. So uh, I hope you join me uh, next week. And in the meantime, be well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you very soon.